Welcome on in guys, Tobin here with you. Thanks for checking out the channel. Hope you're doing fantastic out there. Thank you for tuning in. Hope everybody's having a nice long holiday weekend out there. Bam Adebayo uh, set up some uh, heat fans on social media going into the weekend. And uh, it seems like he sent out the bat signal or maybe in this case the spider signal. I don't remember Spider-Man having a signal, but spider Man, maybe this was the signal from Bam out of bio because um, Bam was Bam has been very uh, he's been pretty active on social media, which is not like him. Typically, he is not a, a guy who tweets a ton, but uh, in awards season, he feels like he has been uh, more active. So, you know, there was uh, a couple of tweets. This was on Friday where. He wanted to get a video game, and he's going to buy himself a PS4 ASAP. And then he said, uh, PS5, my fault. To which somebody responded, bring Mitch to Miami, and I'll give you my PS5. And then Bam decided to comment on this, and he posted a, a little gif of Will Ferrell stroking the the chin as if with the with the slow zoom in as if it was a fantastic idea by said fan to bring Donovan Mitchell to Miami. Wow. Wow. Look, man, fodder season is in is in full effect. We're getting to Wayland season. That'll be as soon as this rat bastard basketball season comes to an end with its red carpet for the Boston Celtics and these you know, I mean, these poor Pacers, they just, they can't hold on to a damn lead. Was pretty awesome to see what Luke was able to do the other night. I can't, I can't lie. Um, which even, by the way, Bam was uh, tweeting out about Luca and him doing his thing. But the one thing that is interesting about this, I've been noticing in the national landscape, and I think others have too, that there's definitely been seemingly a more positive spin on the Miami Heat assets because you remember last year it was with Damian Lillard it felt like if you were making the pay the the Blazers take the Miami Heat's talent that you were basically making a baby eat their vegetables like you were you were having them in the high chair and poor Joe Cronin had to sit there Nikola Jovic so it is interesting though I was reading <clears throat> I think it was Yahoo Sports. Yeah, here's the article. And they were talking, I mean, of course, what are they writing about? They're writing about the Sixers. Talk about eating your vegetables. But they were talking about the, 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 the pursuit that the Philadelphia 76ers are going to have over a star player, right? And it was interesting because they were talking about Paul George potentially going there. And it was it was so this wasn't a case of Donovan Mitchell that they were talking about because he was writing about Paul George and Paul George might leave the, the the Clippers. And they were writing that enough NBA decision makers believe the Orlando Magic are a viable suitor for George. The Knicks will continue to explore star upgrade sources said until New York has extinguished its war trust of draft picks. Miami has the players and picks to barge into any superstar conversation. Which is just, it's very interesting because it was like last year we were sitting here and everybody swore up and down the Miami Heat had no assets. Now all of a sudden, the Miami Heat don't have anywhere near the picks anybody else does, especially if they don't lift some uh, protections on the ones that they currently have owed to OKC, to Charlotte. So it's interesting that now everybody looks at the Heat's talent, which you would describe as Nikola Jovic, Jaime Jaquez Jr., and I, I suppose still Tyler Hero. And you would say, well, that is that's a great that's a that's a great plethora of picks. Now we've already had reports also that have come out out of Cleveland that have said that the Sixer or that the Cavaliers really like Jaime Jaquez and in, in fact would would be interested in Tyler Hero if there was some Donovan Mitchell trade fodder or trade talks that we get to. And we won't really know anything until Donovan Mitchell gets to the point of turning down the extension. Colby Altman, who runs basketball operations for the Cavaliers, spoke this week. And he did what any front office guy should do, which is basically saying, everything is perfect. 
don't even know if we want to break up him and Garland. We love it here. This is all about, you know, what are we going to do against Evan Mobley? What are we going to do about Evan Mobley? Even though you have Marcus Morris coming out, basically calling Jared Allen soft. They, they fired their coach already. They are in a spot right now where it's definitely a pivot point for the Cleveland Cavaliers. And they have to wonder to themselves, what direction are they going to go in? And they need to know the future of Donovan Mitchell. And if they don't, or they're squirrely about it, or they feel like Donovan Mitchell is going to pull an okie doke where it's like, oh, you sign, but then leave. I don't think this is going to be the case. I feel like Donovan Mitchell did that already with what happened with his first move in Utah to Cleveland. It's like, all right, you went to the place that you were just traded to, and you made the best of it. Now I think the guy probably wants to really dictate where he wants to go. I don't know where that is. I don't know if it is Miami. But getting back to Bam's tweet, his evil genius, you know, touching the chin gif from Will Ferrell, we know that, like many stars, there's a tie there with Bam. There's a relationship, a previous relationship with Spida. What have they done, like four jersey swaps together? They were playing in the Miami Pro League a couple summers back. People were chanting for Donovan Mitchell to to force his way to Miami. He didn't force his way to Miami. Will he do that again? It's going to be interesting if that is publicly going to be even close to the case because it kind of bit Miami in the ass last year. That was exactly what happened with Damian Lillard. This is the only place. Behind the scenes could be a different story, but will those will those leaks be there to Shams if we do get to a point where it's quite obvious to all parties involved, that Donovan Mitchell wants to be in Miami. Will it publicly leak? I got to say, there's got to be some kind of a lesson from last year in the Damian Lillard thing. The difference being here, Donovan Mitchell necessarily wouldn't have the years, so he still does have some leverage there. And I don't think with Colby Allman, I don't think you have a guy who is in danger of losing his job. I don't think you have a guy who has a frosty relationship with ownership. And I don't think has a frustrated relationship with the Miami Heat. His work deals out with the Miami Heat in recent years. So I don't think that these are necessarily things. But nobody wants to ever feel like they're getting, you know, fleeced in a deal, right? And I think that one of the things the Miami Heat could probably take from these last summers of missing out and striking out awfully on whales is do they do things with a little bit more of a soft touch? You know, a little bit easier then godfather puts your you know what's in a vice and twist and twist and twist until you get it you give them everything you want because that hasn't ended up with what they want so interesting to see bam publicly say this he has on social media the last time donovan mitchell was pursued he made some social media likes that spoke to him being upset that he maybe didn't pursue donovan enough or maybe we're in the 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 mode that they thought they could do as good without him or didn't do enough. I do think for Bam, it's an interesting one too because he last year played it pretty close to the vest. He was very sensitive to the idea of, you know, I have other teammates, it could happen, but was open about the idea. He's, we're all watching what, Donovan, uh, what Damian Lillard was saying last year. So for Bam to put this out there, like that after last summer maybe speaks the idea of no I'm tired of people around me who I don't feel like can lift this up and I don't think that's a you know I think that maybe just like hey it's time to make a seismic move not the same thing and especially as it was reported way back in the playoffs the early parts of the playoffs Woj says somebody on Bam's timeline somebody who pairs up with Bam out of bio Not necessarily Jimmy Butler, which Donovan Mitchell, yeah, way younger, right there at Bam's age, would seem to make a lot of sense. But I do think that it's going to be interesting to watch, does Bam stay this social media aggressive, and do the Heat follow suit? Do the Heat maybe let him be the public puppeteer of the Heat? And said they're kind of in the back. And like, let's not have these leak reports of, oh, Donovan Mitchell only wants to go there because it could ruin some things. It's going to be very fascinating. It's very fascinating to see how it all blew up last year, you know, like 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 while he coyote chasing the roadrunner. It will be very interesting to see how Miami goes about 
having leverage, having a star wanting to come here because by all means, if you if you have Donovan Mitchell who wants to be here, make it happen, Captain. Let's let's go already. Let's stop with this with this massaging around the edges. Make it happen. How you can make it happen. If reports are out there that they like some of your pieces, hey, it may be time to let some of those pieces go, especially if you don't have to give up a, a horde of draft picks. I don't think that's a Cleveland team that really does want to throw in a lot more picks. They already have picks. I don't think they want to go into this place. Where they, I think they want players if they lose their star player. So if that narrative's out there, and Lord knows they got a guy who was on the all-rookie team. They have a guy who's going to star for Serbia this summer. They have a, another kid who is a 20-plus score, even though he missed half of last year. So while last year was incredibly frustrating because everybody made it seem like the Heat had crap talent, now they're going into this year and saying, nah, well, they got the kind of the pieces that will make uh, losing somebody of Spida's ilk a little more bearable. 